everybody. Welcome to the show. And the goodies I have today are all from Bath & Body Works. Not only that, I picked them all up during their last event, their home fragrance event. And on top of that, I got them with my Chase Rewards credits. Now, if you have a Chase debit card or credit card, you can you have to sign up um, to get Chase Rewards. And what happens is you get a point for every dollar or whatever you spend. The points accumulate, and then you get a quarterly email telling you how many points you have. And then you have the opportunity to redeem those points. You can redeem them for... I don't think you can get frequent flyer miles, but you probably can. Other than that, you can get actual physical items or you can get gift cards. So, of course, I perused the gift card section and guess what one of the gift card choices is? Bath and Body Works. So, you have to have 500 points to get a $25 gift card. So, first time I did this, oh my goodness, I had enough to get like $150 in Bath and Body Works because I couldn't find my password to redeem the points. So they had accumulated for like a year and a half. So this time I only had enough. Well, I had I almost had enough to get $50 worth, but I definitely had enough to get $25 worth. So I did. And I was glad I did because I, I did good. I only had to spend like 73 cents of my own money. All right, so let's get started. First up, it was a home fragrance event. So there was like raffles in the store and then they um they were doing uh what they do they were doing hand massages with some of the lotion and they gave you like little ideas on how to like use your fragrances there was free shipping tags that was at the bottom of this or the bot this was on the bottom of this the free shipping which I never buy online so and they were also, as usual, throwing these around like there was no tomorrow. All the $10 off cards. $10 off, $30. It's their new thing. So, here's the deal. What was going on was there was a free gift. And the free gift was... What did you have to do? Oh, you had to purchase a full-size... Um, a full-size... What do they call it? Signature collection item, and you would get some of the Shea socks, which retail for $7.50, as well as a trial size lotion of one of the new scents, the drink inspired scents. So you got that for free as long as you purchased a full size item. And of course, you could also use your coupons. So that's what I did. Now, when I went, it was on the wit no, it was on the set the Sunday. This was on a Sunday. Or Saturday. It's probably Saturday. It was, but it was before Thanksgiving. So in practice, for the Thanksgiving, the Black Friday sale, they were letting you stack coupons. So that meant you could use lots of coupons on one order as opposed to them having to ring up separate orders. So I, I don't know if I ended up saving more. I don't think I did. Also, I had a coupon that didn't start until like that Sunday but they let me use it anyway, so that enabled me to get all the stuff that I got. So, I always wanted to try these, but there was no way in the world I was paying $7.50 for them. So, I had to get my butt over there for that. And I had that gift card, so I knew I wouldn't have to spend any of my money. So, I didn't mind the stipulation that you had to buy a full-size item. So, I picked up the Shea socks, and they, they I thought they were going to be bagged up, and you weren't going to be able to choose. You got to choose the design you wanted. So, I just got the pink ones. They're awesome. They've got these little rubber things on it so you don't slip in your house so I will be using these I will review those the mini lotion I picked up was the only one I didn't have in a sample oh my goodness I when I went to get the dollar previews all they had was the vanilla teeny and the jingle bellini which is the peach one did not have the strawberry sparkle so that's the one I picked up and as I have said before this is the trial size size and this is the dollar preview size as you can see the actual not trial size, travel size. The travel size is bigger. Dollar preview, of course, because it's a dollar preview. But this is a better deal, and this is supposed to be five bucks. So between that, the five dollar lotion and the seven fifty socks, I came out pretty good. All right, those are the lotions. I also got all the full size shower gels because I had a coupon for buy a signature item get a signature item free. So not only did I get my free gift of socks and lotion for purchasing a signature item, I got another signature item of equal or lesser price for free. So, 
Sorry, my screensaver started. So I picked up the Vanilla Teen Shower Gel as well as the Strawberry Sparkler Shower Gel. So I have both of those. Then I had an, a coupon to get um, any item free if I purchased a home fragrance item. So I bought a... No, that's not true. What did I have a coupon for? Now I don't remember. But, because this is like a while ago. But, somehow, I got Jingle Bellini. And I did not pay for it. Now I don't remember how that happened. I do know. Oh, I know what it was. Get a free, free, full-size item if you bought a home fragrance item or something. And I got the two for $10 candles. And then somehow that was how I ended up getting this for free. But that was a coupon that hadn't started. But they pushed it through anyway. To get this for free. With the purchase of any item. That must have been it. It was a purchase of any item in the store. And they pushed that one through. I should have recorded this when I came home and I would have remembered. Anyway, the two candles that I got. These were the two, the, what are these? The, um, looking for the ounces. Anyway, these are usually $9.50. Where are the ounces? It's not on here. Um, because the 14 ounce one is the big one. I know. It's a secret. No, this is the four ounce one. So I got Twisted Peppermint. And put the peppermint on there. And I got, this is insane, the dark chocolate mint. This is unreal. Oh, and the wax even looks like chocolate. Look at it. The wax is peeling. Um, yeah. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Then, that was all, of, that was like the whole card. <laughs> Just about. I had like a dollar something left. And they had the clearance table where they were trying to clear out all the fall stuff. So there was one little lonely table in the store with all the fall stuff on it. So I saw this on there. And I said, hmm, how much is that? Everything on that table is half off. So instead of $5, this was $2.50. So then I had $0.73. Cents, so I added that to my dollar or something left over. And I got this. So this will fit these. So this is that's what I'm going to use until I get a Christmas one. I cannot wait to burn this dark chocolate mint. Like, not even funny. So, that's what I'm going to be doing immediately after I finish this show. Oh, it's, it's unreal. It really is. So, those are the goodies that I have picked up most recently. Love the fact that I only spent 73 cents and got all of this stuff. So, if you have a Chase, you have a Chase bank account um, or a Chase credit card, you need to sign up for your reward points. And they had tons of gift cards for all kinds of stuff. But they also have Bath and Body Works. I went to the Be Enchanted launch party. This was not as great as other launch parties, but I mean, it had its moments, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I actually received this on Friday. Now, I had been seeing the, uh, what do you call them? Ads online all this week. And it just said, be in channel launch party Saturday, Sunday, December 34th. So I was like, huh. So finally, Thursday, I get an email about it. And then Friday, this came in the mail. Now it says, it's just a brochure. Oh, what fun it is to gift. But then, on the back, is the ad for the Be Enchanted launch party. So, it says, experience our new Be Enchanted fragrance. Vote on your holiday hand soap fragrance, holiday surprises, and delights for the family. Free gift with any purchase. Now, I don't know what the holiday surprises and delights for the family were. You did get a free gift, which I'll show you in a minute. And you were able to vote on your favorite holiday hand soap fragrance, which I didn't do. And uh, there was also a raffle that you could enter. So I entered the raffle. And then I didn't notice that the other thing was a vote. I feel like this was thrown together and it wasn't as well organized. Or, I mean, I guess they hadn't planned it in advance like the other ones. Like the holiday scent one, they seemed ready for. And what was the one before that? I should have been keeping track. The, um, the Paris Amore one, like they were like ready to go. 
they were they actually had stations in the store where the tables were set up and people were standing there and they had you know instructing you what to do fill out this for this fill out this for this it was just a lot more there was a lot more going on now this they just had the stuff set up on tables and you kind of had to fit for yourself and figure out where you're supposed to put the things I don't know. I don't know whose idea this was to throw this together. I don't understand why they didn't have a Be Enchanted launch party when the product launched. When you could buy it in stores. It's just kind of weird. Alright, so that's that. Did get this in the mail. And inside of this was a $10. If you spent $10, you could get any item free up to $13.50. Which was a pretty good deal. So that's the reason I went. Because I had another Chase rewards card from my Chase points. So I went to spend $10 of that and I only wanted to spend 10 bucks to get the free gift. And when you get the emails, it just says free gift on this. When you get the emails, there's usually asterisks by the free gift. So scroll down in the email and then you'll see sometimes it's like they have several things asterisked. And you need this one, the free gift, next to free gift, it was three asterisks. So you had to scroll down, and then it said what the free gift was. And the free gift was a prepackaged mini lotion, mini shower gel. But by mini for them, they really meant the travel size, not the dollar preview size. So they came in tubes like this. And I already, one already fell out because my other little, little jingle bell on it. So they came in tubes like this and they had a jingle bell at both ends. And they had different things in them. At the front they were kind of sitting in big uh, glass holders. But some of them had moonlight, moonlit, moonlight, moonlight path in them. Some of them had sweet pea in them. Some of them had Paris Amour in them. And then the one I happened to get had Be Enchanted in it, which is okay. Because I do, this, I really like the scent. I really like it. So some of them had this in it. This is what I have. So then, like I said, see, this is the um, the $5 size. So technically, this should have been 10 bucks to get both of these. But these were seven fifty, And they actually have tags that say seven fifty on them. I, I guess they sell these in the store. To be honest, I'm not sure. My plan was to get two candle sleeves. For ten dollars, and then to get another more expensive candle sleeve with the free option because the free item could be up to thirteen fifty. So I had just gotten two of the four ounce candles. This is a four ounce, and this is the fourteen ounce. So this is four ounce. This is fourteen four. So I had gotten some of these. Now I am full up on sleeves for the fourteen ounce got a lot of them like here's the one I just took that one out of so I because I was able to get some this summer and I remember I was like candle sleeve whatever but I am in love with these so I try to get them for free <laughs> they're free gifts otherwise they're five bucks so that's this goes this goes in there like that and you can keep it in there while I slip so I wanted to get candle sleeves for this size because this is the glass one and I didn't have any, so I said, oh, this is perfect. I'll spend money on that, and then I'll get the, spend the $10, and I will be able to get the more fancy candle sleeves. Example, this. I am, this is my favorite candle sleeve that I have. And while this one was 5 bucks, this one was $7.50. And they have actually raised the price on the fancier ones. The fancier ones are now eight fifty. They're not seven fifty anymore. They used to be all the fancy ones were seven fifty, and now they're all eight fifty. And I just love this. I love how it like goes up above the candle. That's my favorite thing. So I wanted uh, fancy ones for the four ounce. Now I pick up this one immediately because it's a. It goes above the candle. As you can see, the candle's in there now. And it's like, here's the candle down here. There's space up there. So, I was excited about that. This was five bucks. Then I go to pick up another one that had a little gingerbread man around it. I look at the bottom, and that was three fifty. And I was like, what? You know? No, it was $4. Then I picked up another plain one. I just found a plain one that was actually like this, but in the four-ounce size. It said three fifty on it. So I was kind of annoyed. I was like, well, I didn't want 
I did not want to go over $10, but I had to get up to $10. So I said, fine, I'll just get this one. So I got this one, and it's trees and snowflakes are between the trees. Love it. So that's my one for this. This candle, by the way, is dark chocolate mint. Amazing. I'll just get another $5 candle sleeve, I said. So, of course, that meant I had to get a big one. So I got the snowflakes. And they had another kind of snowflake. It was little snowflakes, but then they were all joined by, and they had to be to make up the thing. Well, maybe they didn't. I don't know. But they all had a line or something connected them to each other. I didn't like that, so I just got the big snowflake. So then that looks like that. Um, so this was five bucks. So then these made ten dollars, and then for eight fifty, I purchased a pedestal one. Like how gorgeous is that? So these are the new kind they came out with last year. Here's what the bottom looks like. And then your candle is up on a pedestal. Look, I love that. I think that is so gorgeous. So, yeah. Those are my goodies from December um, 3rd. When you went in the store, they had these cards. Welcome to our Be Enchanted launch party. So then they said, it says, Gift and be merry at each of our festive fun stations. Experience the new Be Enchanted. And it says, Get a complimentary hand massage. No, no centers were sent up to do that. Celebrate the season with this merry making collection of three drink inspired scents. There was no station sent up to introduce you to those. Vote for your festive favorite soaps. So that was this that I didn't do. There was a little voting, a little card. Vote for your favorite holiday soaps. Uh, twisted peppermint, apple wreath, winter cranberry, ribbon candy, iced gingerbread, or mistletoe kiss. And I had to f search out the ballot boxes. They're usually like everywhere. You had to look for those. Though, the raffle was for a $25 gift card. And then get a free gift with any purchase. Seven dollar value. So that was the free gift I showed you. The two body products, lotion and shower gel. So these are my goodies from December third. Let me know in the comments if you went to the Be Enchanted launch party and if you picked anything up. Okay, let's get started. My scissors here in case I need them, but I don't think I will because it's not taped. So this is the Home Elements Shimmering Glass Water Fountain. I love these fountains. One of the things I was most excited about this one is that it says that the power adapter is included. You see that? Right there. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. I just purchased something and the power adapter was not included and it was really annoying. So this is really pretty. I got it from Walgreens. Actually where I get most of my little fountains like this. It was not $9.99. It was on sale for 5 bucks, So, it was not $10. So, I love fountains. Unfortunately, I have discovered they just don't last. They last about a year. And that's it. So, honestly, I don't like to pay a lot for them. They used to have them a lot in Burlington Coat Factory. And now they don't anymore. Warning slip. Um, bit saying do not change anything how to install and they actually had all three of these that are on this paper they had this one and this one but these both had I didn't like that one and this one had like serenity or something written on the base I didn't want that so these are instructions as to how to set it up and how to add the batteries um, if you're going to use batteries or the plug I don't think I'm gonna need scissors. Uh, this is power adapter, I'm sure. Oh, and the little rocks. Uh, you can see it's basically. Oh, that's a nice size. I like that. That's a nice size. Right there. It's glue. You can see the glue, and I like the glass. 
Nice. So then the water comes down and shimmers over it. Oh, this is the front. Cause see the back. It's not as nice looking. Oh, there's a space for the power adapter, which is what I'm gonna be using. And power adapter the rock. So I am going to set this up. I will take a picture of it all set up. Um, basically all I have to do is add water and get it started. Oh wait, I have to lift something up. Rocks, water. Eight ounces of water first, and then add the decorative stones to the base after you add the water. Interesting. They want you to add the water first and then put the rocks in there. And I actually have, I need to see if I have some like clear rocks. I can get some different color rocks in the dollar store. These are like, you know, stone looking. They look like stone. Yeah, I will do a review on this at some point. Get it up, see how it works. But this is the, what is it? The Shimmering Glass Water Fountain from Home Element. I purchased it in Walgreens for five bucks. So you might be able to find it yourself. It was on an end cap. So look on the end caps. And above the end cap, it said $4.99. That's how I knew it wasn't $10. So we'll see. Thanks for watching.